Wh which story do you want to hear? Anything at all. <laughs> I think. I think we. All right. Uh, well, now I'll tell you the story about the big pond because okay. this was very profound, and this was my start in life. Uh, I went into this show as an understudy. And I had worked two weeks for a man named Edwin Knopf, who was the brother of Alfred Knopf, and a very sweet and distinguished man who gave me my first job after I graduated from Bryn Mawr. And he said, write me a letter, and uh, I will tell you whether we can use you or not. So my father said, never write, go, and appear in person. So I went down to Baltimore, and I appeared. I didn't even know there was a stage door in a the theater. Mm -hmm. And I went in, and I sat down, and I watched the rehearsal. It was a very distinguished company. Mary Boland, Elliot Cabot, Kenneth McGowan. Uh, you know, a, a really good company. And they were doing a thing called the Tsarina the following week. And nobody told me to leave, so I sat down in the audience, and I waited and waited and waited. And finally, five hours passed. And I nearly died. I got excited. I had to go to the John. It was pitch dark. I felt my <laughs> way around, trying to find a ladies' room. Finally did. Came back, sat down. And Eddie Knopf was always sitting right up in the front of the audience, watching this dress rehearsal. And finally just walked by me and said, report for rehearsal Monday. And that's how you got That's it? how I got my job. Is that the, oh, so I that didn't say how much or anything. So I got my job in the, and was given a nice little part in the Tsarina. Uh, went for the costume thing at the end of the week. Mm -hmm. And they said, come at 10 to pick your costume. So I got there at quarter of 10. I thought, boy, I'm being smart. All the girls were there. All the good clothes were gone. And it was, uh, you know, sort of bouffant skirts. Yeah. And I was a lady in mating. <laughs> lady in mating. <laughs> me. See, I'm a bit nervous. Do you believe a in... Lady, you believe a lady in, in waiting. <laughs> Do I believe in... You couldn't keep quiet. I know. No, I know. I was going <laughs> to... <laughs> you just had to interfere. I was going to ask you believed in Freudian slips when you said that. But go, carry on. Yes, I do. You were a lady in waiting and... Freudian yes. slips. Well, uh, there was no Freudian slip for me that wasn't this short. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so... Um, <clears throat> A little girl in the company came up to me and she said, Catherine, I got here at nine o'clock yeah. and I have the best costume and I think you're someday going to be a big star and I'm going to get married in two weeks and I want you to take my costume because the one you have looks silly on you. And I nearly fainted and I looked at her and I thought, if you have any character, you'll say you're terribly sweet, but I can't do it. But I didn't. I said, do you mean that? She said, yes. I said, thank you very much. Let me try it on. <laughs>